Knock at the Cabin, 2023, Storyline, Knock at the Cabin, 2023. While vacationing at a remote cabin, a young girl and her two fathers are taken hostage by four armed strangers who demand that the family make an unthinkable choice to avert the apocalypse. With limited access to the outside world, the family must decide what they believe before all is lost. Knock at the Cabin, 2023, Review, Knock at the Cabin, 2023. In a world of sequels and IP M. Night Shyamalan continues to give us interesting and original stories. And he tends to get a lot of flack for them sadly. People want original content but then destroy it every time it comes along. It's no wonder we can't have nice things. Knock at the Cabin isn't perfect, but it's certainly a fun ride. The film starts out as a mystery. We don't know what is going on and everything seems very strange and is not making a lot of sense. It's a good way to start a movie. Then we are let in on what is going on and things become particularly interesting. It's at this point that you simply must turn your brain off to logic to get through the rest of the film. Because much like a lot of religion it doesn't make a lick of sense. Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3 2023, Storyline, Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3 2023. A Brooklyn plumber named Mario travels through the Mushroom Kingdom with a princess named Peach and an anthropomorphic mushroom named Toad to find Mario's brother, Luigi, and to save the world from a ruthless fire-breathing Koopa named Bowser. Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3 2023, Review, This movie is my favorite of the three Guardians movies. I went to a media screening the day before the wide release and it had everyone in the theater clapping and crying by the end of it. It really starts off fast and never lets up from there. They mix in drama and comedy masterfully and really set up the future of the franchise. There are parts that are difficult to watch if you are an animal lover. The exciting addition of Adam Warlock to the franchise opens up a lot of new possibilities for the future. The High Evolutionary is one of the most brutal villains in any Marvel movie. Cocaine Bear 2023 Storyline, Cocaine Bear 2023, inspired by the 1985 true story of a drug runner's plane crash, missing cocaine, and the black bear that ate it, this wild dark comedy finds an oddball group of cops, criminals, tourists and teens converging in a Georgia forest where a 500-pound apex predator has ingested a staggering amount of cocaine and gone on a coke-fueled rampage for more blow. And blood. Cocaine Bear 2023, Review. Cocaine Bear is the story of a bear who takes too much cocaine and does stuff like dance, wiggle, and kill, kill, kill. It has about 12 characters we never delve too deep into but somehow they all end up involved with the bear and there is a lot of death, comedy, and bizarre scenes. The film is incredibly strange as it is not exactly funny, heartwarming, or scary, yet it delves into all three of these and sort of keeps you smiling and kind of bizarrely focused and enjoying yourself. Also, a classic final film for the legendary Ray Liotta, and TBH it's worth seeing just to see the legendary Ray in his final role. Dungeons Dragons, Honor Among Thieves, 2023 Dash Storyline A charming thief and a band of unlikely adventurers embark on an epic quest to retrieve a lost relic, but things go dangerously awry when they run afoul of the wrong people. Dungeons Dragons, Honor Among Thieves, 2023, Review, Dungeons & Dragons, Honor Among Thieves, Great Fun. I'm not familiar with the game but you get great dragons both fierce human, and otherkin, eaters and down at heel arms seekers. Chris Pine is okay as an ex-harper and present thieve, but a good-hearted one. Michelle Rodriguez is much more convincing as Holger Kilgore, a barbarian warrior who would put Xena in a lesser league. My favorite member of Pine's posse is Sophia Lillis as Doric, a tiefling druid and shapeshifter who can turn into an owlbear as well as other critters. A richly imagined fantasy world with quests, battles and magic replacing science. Hugh Grant has a supporting role as a con man who always has a plan to make his schemes even more devious, he is hilarious, Daisy Head is Sophina, a sorceress who enables his schemes, armies of the undead and talking corpses are actually amusing. Don't know what True Blue fans will make of it but I loved this heist slash quest adventure which has great effects. Directed by Jonathan Goldstein and John Francis Daly, who co-wrote the screenplay with Michael Gilio. 8 tenths. Operation Fortune, 
Ruse de Guerre 2023 Storyline, Operation Fortune, Ruse de Guerre 2023 in the film, Super Spy Orson Fortune, Jason Statham, must track down and stop the sale of a deadly new weapons technology wielded by billionaire arms broker Greg Simmons, Hugh Grant. Reluctantly teamed with some of the world's best operatives, Aubrey Plaza, Carrie Elwis, Bugsy Malone, Fortune and his crew recruit Hollywood's biggest movie star Danny Francesco, Josh Hartnett, to help them on their globetrotting undercover mission to save the world. Operation Fortune Review Well-constructed awesome experience originally was supposed to release fall of last year kinda strange it wasn't since Covid was slowing down glad it's getting the theatrical release it deserves. Operation Fortune Ruse de Guerre is a great fun thrill ride slightly bonkers sometimes all mixed up while being well-written action slash comedy. Hate or love the movie it is a glossy well put together excellent casted Guy Ritchie story that is a must see for anyone. The timing of everything is magnificent and often hilarious. I enjoyed this action extravaganza quite a lot Jason Stratham is always impressive, so is Aubrey Plaza and everyone else involved highly recommended.